Okay, question number six uh, says the diagram shows the curve with equation y equals to 9 over 9 over 5x plus 4 to the power 1 over 2 and the line y is equals to 6 minus 3x. The line and the curve intersect at the point P, this point and which has a y coordinate 3. Okay, so mention this on the uh, graph. Intersect at the point P which has y coordinate 3. So that means this point is 3. Find the area of the shaded region. So we need to find the area of the shaded region. It means this point has some coordinates that has a y coordinate 3. So let's uh, represent it like this. Then we have this curve has equation y equals to 9 over 5x plus 4 to the power 1 over 2. Now let's break down this thing. Okay, what do we need? Uh, we need to find the area of the shaded region. We need to integrate between the limits. And what do what are the limits? Limits are from where to where uh, we need to take on x-axis. So first we need to find the points. Okay, we need to find this point. We need to find this point. So let's do that first. So for, for this point, this line is intersecting at x-axis at this point. So that here y will be 0. So in this given equation of the line, I'm referring to the line that is given to us this one. In this equation, in this line, we will be substituting y equals to 0 to get the x-intercept. Okay, so y is equals to 6 minus 3x, 6 minus 3x. So let's name this point to be Q. So at Q, six minus three x at Q, y equals to zero. So six minus three x equals zero. This gives three x equals to six and x equals to two. So that means this is 2 comma 0 this coordinate then secondly we need p as well so to find out that we come to know that at this point p at p y equals to 3 so if y equals to 3 then it means 3 equals to 6 minus 3x now i am substituting the same point p in the same equation y equals to 3x okay so let's do that it will become 3x equals to 6 minus 3 6 minus 3 and then x equals to 1 so that means this point is 1 comma 3 okay so this is all about what we have taken so far so yeah this is what we have done. Yeah, this much is enough. Okay, so we got these two points. Now, how do we how to integrate this, Peter? Uh, the thing is, normally, what do we do? We have a single curve and integrate it. Uh, the whole from 0 to 2 if in this case this is 0 to 2 but here as we have till this point we have the area under the region is your area under the curve and in this part shaded part this area under the curve is area under the line so we will be finding these two areas separately and adding them up and yes we know this now the limits that we will be taking would be now look here how do we write the integration integration area of the shaded region would be integral of 0 to 1 the equation of the curve curve is going to be integrated from 0 to 1 9 over 5x plus 4 to the power 1 over 2 okay plus 
Now from 1 to 2, it will be the equation of the curve will be integrated. Sorry, equation of the line will be integrated. 6 minus 3x dx. Okay, so let's do that. Now start the integration. Now integrate this, uh, writing this as in the numerator to integrate it so it will become 9, 5x plus 4 to the power minus 1 over 2 plus integral 1 to 2, 6 minus 3x. We will be integrating it both at once. Now integrate it, 9 outside. What do we need to integrate it? We need the derivative of this to be multiplied with it to get the integral so derivative of this part is 5 so let's 5 be multiplied here 5 multiplied and 5 divided integral of 0 to 1 keep this 5 inside instead of keeping it outside 5 multiplied by 5x plus 4 to the power minus 1 over 2 and the rest is as it is copied so let's copy it just like this now write the next step 9 over 5 now integrate it it will be 5x plus 4 to the power minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over minus 1 over 2 plus 1 okay between the limits 0 to 1 plus let's do this separately this will become 6x minus 3x square over 2 6 becomes 6x and 3x become 3x square over 2 and this will be between the limits 1 to 2 now carry forward this minus 1 over 2 plus 1 is 1 over 2 okay so 5x plus 4 to the power 1 over 2 over 1 over 2 now you can just calculate it with the calculator just simplify this further 0 to 1 then the same just repeat it in the next step okay now this will become 18 over 5 this 1 over 2 is multiplied 2 is multiplied in the numerator so it becomes 5x plus 4 to the power 1 over 2 uh, I think so we should be in this step be substituting the limits in it okay so this will become 5 times 1 plus 4 whole power 1 over 2 minus the limit the second limit should be applied 5 times 0 plus 4 whole power 1 over 2 plus 6 times 2 minus 3 times 2 square over 2 minus 6 times 1 minus 3 times 1 square over 2. Now, 5 plus 4 is 9. So, this is, okay, you can do it directly with the calculator. I am doing it manually. 9 and 9 square root will be 3. So, this is 3 minus, this becomes 0. 0 plus 4 and 4 under the root is 2. So, 3 minus 2 times 18 over 5 plus 6 times 2 is 18 minus 6 minus 6 minus 3 over 2 yep now 
18 minus 6 is 12 and minus 9 over 2 and this will give you 24 minus 9 is 15 over 2 Okay, and this will give you so this will give you you can directly do it with the calculator to save your time this step. Okay, just write down in your calculator and you'll get your final answer. So this will give you 36 over 10 plus 75 over 10 and this will give you 111 over 10 so you can write it this way or in the decimal 11.1 so this will be your whole working this will be your area of where you're under the uh, graph or area of the shaded region okay by using the integration i hope you get this question thank you Thank you.